Or maybe this is the sign that you need in your life to tell you that, you know what, am I really going on the right path? Is this friendship circle the right one? Is this relationship really the right one? And God is telling you today that he will send you signs. So what sign have you been looking for? When you don't forgive the person that has wronged you, when you don't forgive and you say, I'm going to show them what it is that I'm made of, right? The Bible tells us that God himself is not going to forgive you for your sins. So what is it that you're holding on today, that you're holding in your heart and you're telling yourself, I will not forgive that person? Greetings once again and welcome back to the channel guys welcome back now if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so that you do not miss when a new video comes up right now guys remember that we're now available on apple podcast anchor as well as on spotify and you can follow us and find us as well on those three platforms now also we are now available on tiktok at sinner saved by underscore grace and you can find us there as well on that platform now also guys remember to follow us now this is to my podcasters to follow us on youtube and you can find us on youtube at ashley Cherera, and you can find us there on that platform now today we're going to be talking about revenge what is revenge is revenge yours to even take on now when people do bad against you should you be the one that perhaps takes on revenge and say you know what you did bad against me so i'm going to return the favor and do bad against you as well now this is what we are going to be talking about today so tune in to find out more now without wasting further time we're going to be getting our reference point or rather our scripture for today we're going to be getting it from the book of first samuel chapter 24 verse 17 to 20 right and it reads as follows and he said to david thou art more righteous than i for thou hast rewarded me good, whereas I have rewarded thee evil. And thou hast showed this day how that thou hast dealt with well with me. For as much as when the Lord had delivered me into thine hand, thou killest me not. For if a man find his enemy, will he let him go well away? Wherefore the Lord reward thee good for that thou hast done unto me this day. Now, when we come to this point, right, and we're just going to have a brief summary of what has happening until Saul came to this point and they're saying to David that, you know what, what, what is happening here? Now, I urge you to go and watch the previous episodes, right? If you haven't watched the previous episodes, go and watch the previous episodes as they all leading up and they're moving in a chronological order, right? So if you follow them, you will be able to understand the message for today. Now, regardless of that, now we're coming to Saul and David. It comes to a point in chapter 4 or rather from chapter 20 to chapter 24, whereby now Saul gets into the same cave where David was hiding, right? But Saul does not realize that actually he is in the same cave that David was hiding in. So then Saul then decides to sleep in there and David realizing this, he goes to Saul and some of his servants tell him that, you know what, why don't you go and slay him? This guy has been after you for so long. This guy has been after your life for so long and he's been seeking to avenge for your soul. He's been seeking to take you out from the earth, right? So now some of his servants, they tell him these things and then David in, in, in reaction to what they told him, he goes to Saul where Saul was sleeping. Now Saul does not realize that David is actually there because he is fast asleep right so then David gets to him and then he cuts a bit of um of his clothing right he cuts a bit of his clothing and all of a sudden his heart beats fast and this something tells him that you know what this is not the right thing to do for me to avenge so for me to take advantage of Saul and slay him this is not the right thing to do God speaks to David and tells him, you know what, this is not the right thing that you should do, right? So then David then listens to the Lord and then he decides to say, you know what, I'm not going to carry on with this thing, right? And then afterwards in the morning when David, uh, when Saul now leaves the cave where David was, David then calls upon Saul, right? At this moment, David then calls upon Saul. Now Saul in shock so in 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 um in awe he then looks back and he says wow is this really david how come i didn't see him all the night and then david confesses to him and says i could have 
slayed you while you were in your sleep. As a matter of fact, here is your piece of a clothing that shows that you can even look on your clothing and see that I saw you when you were sleeping. And so in doing this, he realizes that no, man. And this is when we come to verse 17 and to verse 19, where Saul then decides to say no. For as much as I was after your soul, right? May God bless you because you decided not to slay me. As a matter of fact, you even say that I should go well. So then Saul comes to a point where he says, no, some, something is wrong with me, you know? Something is, I've been after this guy. And the first chance that he gets to take me out, he decides not to do it. And this is what, what where we now get to... Um, verse 17 and verse 18 and verse 19. So what is the message that we can get so that we can take it and apply it into our lives? Revenge is not yours. I'll repeat that again. Revenge is not yours, right? Just like what David did here. David could have slayed um, so David could have taken out so in the instant and David could have taken him out and that would be have to be the end of it. But now we realize here that the revenge is not yours, guys. Revenge is not yours. And I'll say it for the last time. Revenge is not yours. Right. So people might have done such bad things to you. Right. I don't know uh, what 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 is. Um, occurred in your life. I don't know what has happened to you where you're thinking to yourself They don't know me. I am going to show them who I really am They've never seen such a person like me, right? I'm going to really show them that people at my family will react in this way We don't just you know sleep and, and, and let things slide, right? But here the message for today is saying that revenge is not yours Revenge is not yours. Revenge belongs to the Lord. For even here, so then acknowledges and says, you know what? How come you never slayed me? How come when you had the opportunity, you never took it in your arms to take me out? How come you never did all of that? And this is, this is something that is actually profound, right? That we should also take into our lives, guys. And I'll just leave um, a couple of verses as we are closing um this this episode for today right and we are going to go and i'm going to read um a few verses right i'm going to read a few verses um the first one is from first peter chapter 3 verse 9 which says that do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult but rather or on the contrary repay evil with a blessing right because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing do not repay evil with evil or an insult with an insult. They insult you, they do all these kind of things, they do evil things to you. The Bible is telling us in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, do not repay evil with evil, but rather repay evil with a blessing, as this is what you were called to do. As a child of God, do not repay evil with evil. Do not repay um, bad things and say, try to, to, to take things upon yourself and say, I'm going to show them. They don't know who I am. You know, I'm going to show them that I'm powerful. I have this might. I can do anything, you know. No, no, no. This is not what the message says for today. For revenge is not yours. Now, if you go further again and we go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15. Which then tells us that make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Make sure that nobody pays wrong for wrong. Don't repay wrong for wrong. Yes, they cheated you. Yes, they did all this kind of thing. Yes, they stole your money, but it is not for you to go and avenge. It is not for you to go and avenge it is only god that will repay that that's that um, way you lost for god is saying that he is the one he says that revenge is mine he is the one that is going to take over that uh, situation and take over the revenge now the verse that says that we should not um or rather revenge belongs to the lord we can find it in deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 35 and it says that it is mine to avenge i will repay in due time, their foot will slip, their day of disaster is near, and their doom rushes upon them. This is what God is saying to you today. He's saying that it is his to revenge. It is for him to avenge, right? In due time, not in your own time, but in due time, 
God is going to avenge for you. Not you yourself. No, 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 guys. Don't take it upon yourself to avenge on behalf of the Lord. For God himself knows the way. He knows why certain things are happening in your life. So therefore, take heed and know that it is not your place or your position rather to be the one that is taking revenge for things that are done wrongfully even if you are innocent it is not your position to take revenge and this is the message for today now for the last verse we can now take our bibles and we will go to the book of mark chapter 11 mark chapter 11 and it says that mark chapter 11 verse 25 it says that and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your father in heaven may forgive you for your sins. So what, what have you been holding on in your heart? And you're saying, I will not forgive that person. The Bible is telling us today in Mark chapter 11 verse 25 is our closing verse. That if you hold anything, forgive that person so that God himself may forgive you for your sins when you pray. But if you hold things in your heart and you say, I am not going to forgive this person, just know that also your sins as well are not going to be forgiven. So right, this is a message that you can then take for today. When you don't forgive the person that has wronged you, when you don't forgive and you say, I am going to show them what it is that I'm made of, right? The Bible tells us that God himself is not going to forgive you for your sins. So what is it that you're holding on today, that you're holding in your heart and you're telling yourself, I will not forgive that person? The message today says that revenge is not yours. Rather, forgive those that wrong you. Even the Lord's Prayer says that forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us learn to forgive and let us remember that revenge is not ours. Revenge belongs to the Lord. Not yours to take, not yours to keep in your heart and say, I will show them what I'm made of. Not to, for you to say that, you know what, they can never do that to me. So I am going to show them how powerful or how I have big connections that can destroy their lives. This is not your position to take. God is saying today that do not take revenge, for revenge only belongs to God. May God bless you. This is actually going to destroy everything. Have you ever been in that instance where you are now on your way to say, I'm going to show them. I am going to show them what I'm made of. And then on your way there, you just think to yourself in your life, mm, on second thoughts, I think I might just go back. What is that voice that speaks to you?